Dungeon Master's Game Dungeon. Stupy or green? Turn. Okay, so what does that do? What do you think? Oh! It's red! Okay. Turn. It's blue. There we go, green. Don't know what that does. Okay. Turn. That's a very creepy picture. Sphinx, professor of lost wisdom and guardian over the city of the dead. The Sphinx stands to watch over the greatest tomb ever built. The pyramids search, and you may learn wisdom from this ancient lips. Oh, I pulled upstairs. Push the lips. The Kiss. The beyond hath driven out all of the gods save Aiden. So begins Egypt's decline. If thou art wise, thou shalt know that the names of this pharaoh and his queen be placed forever in shame on the columns of Ra. Okay. I love you too, babe. Um, turn around. Oh, what's this? Oh! Hey, wait a second. Okay. That was easy. I actually remember correctly here. Oh, hey dude, I didn't even need to check the book. I'm good. What's in here? Uh It's a monster head. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Curse of Anubis, dear wretched soul who disturbs the eternal rest, may ex exist in despair for all eternity. Anubis, chief of deity, whom prayers and ancient Egypt may very well are made, was an originator involving the fear of your eyes. Enter. Okay, I am um, not gonna open that. Nope, 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 nope. Goodbye. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I don't like mummies. I don't like mummies. I don't like mummies. I'm out of here. I'm so out of here. Get me 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 out of here. What's this? What's this? Um. Oh! A puzzle! That's more up my alley. Okay, um. What is, is this like connect the dots or something? Or the lines or some sort? Oh, hey, yeah, dude, look, I think I, oh, okay. <clears throat> I got this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. Jesus, this is really all it. Oh. Oh! Hey dude, I think I got it! Did I get it? Jeez, that was ridiculously easy, man. Mwah! Good puzzle! Four minutes into the episode, and I've already defeated two puzzles! Ha <laughs> ha! Who's boss? We're down here. Um. Oh, hey, look, button. Oh, that opens the door. Well, that's good. Now I know how to get out. Oh, look, another button. Another button. 
Death comes uneasily to the mind of man. Usually, yeah. Real customs throughout the world arise from the belief that the survivors can secure life after death for the Ooh. deceased. Okay. We will find here that man has conceived of many ways to honor the dead. Oh, I'm not gonna like this place. Um, um, no. Oh, boy. Okay, that looks like... I don't even want to know. Um, Norse burial ship. Men and women of wealth and position were given ship burials and were provided with food and armor for their trip to the underworld. Hmm, what's this? Pleasant. Well, I'm not exactly excited about a small town if it does. And we see there's very clean telescope. Well, um, July 30th, I'm not pleasant. That's an awesome museum. It's the last museum. Strange and unusual things. Uh, the sign says it's opening soon. Can't wait. I would love to go to a museum like that, wouldn't you? Of mine is demons, of course. August 8th, 1980, Mount Pleasant. Dad says the museum will never open. I don't believe it. He says Professor Wendell not once thought at the same, uh, once taught at the same college Dad is teaching in, but now he's some kind of eccentric. August 20th, 1980, Mount Pleasant. Not looking forward to school next week. I finally saw the professor. He looks really cool, but just got off at an archaeology dig. That's a good sketch, man. Dude. August 29th, I knew my mom was going to bad. As I thought, everyone here is a bunch of hicks. There's this girl named Beth, who is kind of cute, and says she knows the Professor Wendell not. I'm not sure. I believe her dad says he's a recluse and not likely to know a high school girl. September 7th, 1980. It turns out that Beth really doesn't know the professor just a lot about him. She says he has some secret way to get into the museum, but nobody has figured it out yet. I followed him from the post office yesterday and saw him go into the museum. She was right. He didn't go back to the front door. He went to a gazebo and did something that made a little bridge come up, then crossed the bridge and went into the underground. Cool. Mount Pleasant Dad says I had to get a job. Bummer! He said kids in a small town's got in trouble without jobs, so I'm working uh, the bookstore. Good news, I followed the professor again and figured out the layout of the museum grounds. I think I could figure out how to get in. Beth has given me all sorts of advice. I think she likes me, so she keeps hanging around. It's hard to follow um, someone else when you're being followed yourself. So stalkers upon stalkers. There's a kid stalking a guy, and there's a girl stalking the kid. Who's stalking the girl? I don't know. Me? You? Oh. Um. Hold it. Hold it. I know. It's Twilight. Twilight is stalking the girl. Um. Uh, we're, we're eight minutes in. Um. Let's keep reading this book. Come on. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Number six in Mount Pleasant, Beth keeps hanging around. I hate when Dad thinks she's my girlfriend, invites her over for dinner. This job has turned out to be okay. After all, I finally met the professor face to face. He comes into the bookstore to see if we had a few some books in African tribes. He seemed to recognize me. I asked him questions. are pretty cool. And after tomorrow is gone, I'm going to try and get into the museum. I have mostly figured out should I get rid of Beth or take her with? She is hard to get rid of. <laughs> stalkers. So turn to my present I said the night dad is attending some kind of lecture. I told him we are going to a movie in case he comes home early. We means I've decided to take Beth with me. She might come in handy. She is smart and she has a rope ladder we can use to get over the wall. It says you can use a sneaker out at night. Use the schedule. Well that's not in use anymore. A museum's been closed. Uh, the museum, this is a very interesting old museum. There's a lot of rooms. We can't even get into the 
<laughs> puzzles without it everywhere. Uh, we found this exhibit that had some ancient pots. There was a warning outside to just not to disturb them. Beth said she didn't believe the sign and opened one of them anyways. There was a pretty cool noise and felt like cold air coming out out of the pot. I <clears throat> saw some green electrical chimes uh, coming out of it. Beth said it probably was from negativity, neg negatively charged from ions or something. I helped her open the rest of the pot. It was for me. Okay, so let me get this straight. You open the pot, the spirit came out, and you just thought it was charged ions, and then you keep opening the pots. Hmm. I don't, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't make that mistake. You don't have to be superstitious to realize that that's not ions. That doesn't work like that. And if it does, go ahead. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comment. Comment. Do something. Something horrible has happened. There's things upstream everywhere. I can't just find path. We got separated. What are those things? Oh, yeah. So the demons are attacking you now. Big surprise! You let them out of the prison. Only I could find a way to catch you. All the doors are locked. Oh! Wait, watch. Okay. <laughs> He's dead. Particular Griffin coffins of Ch Ga Ghana. It's Ghana. The lion celebrates the life and status of a great African hunter who will come in the region and he's hidden there from the Exupi. Oh, this is the Jade Skull, dude! So, what, was it hopping around? Was the Exupi possessing it? No. Oh, this is the ashes. Uh, cremation, the Hindu cremation, cremation is considered sacred of lineage to the dead. The soul is set free, and the fire god, right, takes it up to heaven in India. And we're out of time. See you all next time.